Hi there, welcome back to part two of the pizzeria restaurant series on the Fogo Life. So last week we made some really delicious pizzas. Um, we had a good time, the, that last pizza went really quick as you remember. So if you didn't check it out, go back and check it out because we had a good time. But today we're gonna make something a little different. We're gonna make calzones. Now I love a calzone. Nice cheese filled pocket of dough, could put some meats, put some different things inside. Um, we're gonna have some real fun with it today. We're gonna do something a little bit different. I'm uh, gonna make a couple different ones and we're gonna enjoy them. It's ricotta cheese, mozzarella, some seasonings. Um, it's gonna be delicious. So um, I'm glad you tuned in again. Let's get started. All right, so we're making our calzones. There's a little bit of prep to do beforehand. Um, once we make it, we're gonna cover it with a nice egg wash. So we're gonna take one egg, crack one egg, get rid of the shells. Just a little bit of water, maybe about a tablespoon full of water. Okay, just mix that up real good. Doesn't have to be much, just a little egg wash solution. That's all it is. We're gonna brush it on in the end. So we got that, okay. We've got some diced pepperoni here because we're gonna make one with pepperoni in it. The other one we're gonna do is gonna be ham and pineapple. So we got some nice ham here. I have a cutting board right here, okay. And we're gonna cut up some of this ham put in, and we're gonna mix it. We're gonna go a little crazy because some people don't like ham and pineapple pizza. I understand that. I'm not crazy for it myself. But my son turned me on to this. He said, Dad, you have to make a calzone with ham and pineapple. Now, like I shared with you, when I grew up in Hop Hog in Long Island, I made pizzas at a pizzeria. Of course, my son, we lived down here. What did he do during high school? Worked in a pizzeria also. So um, he came up with this idea. I wasn't crazy for it, but once I tried it, I had to admit, he was right. So it's real simple. I'm just gonna make some nice sized pieces of ham. You could use any kind of ham you want. We just use a regular, uh, regular little tavern ham. Cut it into squares as such, okay? We're just gonna set that aside for right now because the other thing we have to chop up is some pineapple, okay? We're gonna make, like I said, a ham and pineapple. So we're just gonna cut a strip off of here You can use canned if you want. Um, we prefer our, our local grocery store here in Florida. They, um, they cut up some nice fresh pineapple for us. So we just cut it into little bite-sized pieces. Like such. Because we're going to mix this in with the cheese and cook this right inside of the calzone. Oh, it's going to be so good. I know it sounds funny. Again, I'm not a big ham and pineapple pizza person, okay? Some people love it. Some people hate it. It's like the most giant debate online sometimes. But what I do like is the nice sweetness that goes along with the regatta cheese that you get from the pineapple. It's, it's really a great combination. I, I was really amazed myself the first time that we had it. So I can't wait to get started. So that's our prep on that one. All right. So we take our regatta cheese. Now what I like to do is use about 50-50 regatta to mozzarella. All right. So we're going to take one, two, and we'll go maybe two and a half tablespoons. Okay, now we've got nice shredded mozzarella. Um, we shredded this ourselves here. We've got a block. And again, we're gonna to wanna to use about 50-50, the same equal amounts, okay? Take some pineapple and eyeball it. You know, if you li really like it, add a lot more pineapple. You don't have to, there's no rules here, folks. It's all fun. Have fun with cooking, that's what it's all about. Take your ham, put it in here. Now, some people, when they stretch their dough, they like to put the cheese, then the mozzarella, then the toppings, however you want to do it. I like to mix everything together. I find I get a much better final product if it's all mixed together. So we take that, mix it all up, and that's going to be our filling for our first calzone. Sounds good, right? I thought so too. Okay, let's get to the dough. All right, so if you watched our pizza videos, you know that we want to start with a really floured surface to stretch our dough. So you put a whole bunch of flour down, okay? Can't have enough, really. We take our dough. That works easier. All right, then we're gonna flour both sides of it. Okay, so we wanna be able to stretch this dough nicely. And we're gonna stretch it just like a pizza, okay? Flatten it out. You can use a rolling pin for this part here. Whatever you're comfortable with, okay? That's, that's the most important part. You have to be comfortable. Some people want to try it. You know, this is fun because you can get to do some different fun things with the dough as you're, as you're twisting. As you get better, you learn to throw it in the air. Um, 
Juan, do you think we should throw the dirt in the, should we, should we, the dirt? Should we throw the dough in the air? What do you think? Okay. He says yes. All right. So let's give it a little stretch here. Give it a little toss. Oh, okay. And we've got a stretch dough. Beautiful, right? We're going to stretch it a little bit more. I want a bigger one than that. Okay. That's better. Okay. We got our nice size dough that we want. Then we're going to cut it into different sections. Now, where is our pizza cutter? What do we do with it? Here it is. Found it. It's okay. So we're going to make calzones, so we don't want to use the whole entire dough. This one I'm going to cut right in half, just like that. And we take our mixture that we had before. Now, what I like to do is I like to add a little bit of seasonings to this before we put it in. Okay. So I'm going to add a little bit of oregano, just a couple little shakes. You don't want it to tasting like complete. Um, you're just trying to season it. You don't want to cover it up. All right, a little bit of basil, and of course, it's Italian, so we got to use some garlic powder. All right, um, again, you know, I'm a big fan of garlic, but if you don't want to overpower it with garlic here, you just want to get a little hint of it. So we're going to mix that all up. This is really easy. Mix it all up, okay, so it's all dispersed nice and evenly. And then we put it on our dough. Place it right about in the center. Now, the good part is, we have plenty of dough to work with, so we're not going to be cramped for space. This is the really simple part, but everybody freaks out because they don't know how to do it. First off, make sure your hands are dry, okay? You don't want it to be wet. Make sure they're nice and dry. Now, we're just going to take our dough and fold it right over, just like that. And we're going to pinch the sides. Seal it up real nice, okay? Seal it, seal it, seal it. You don't want this stuff leaking out, so you got to make sure it's really nice and sealed. You take your trusty pizza cutter or your knife and you cut a nice rim around it. Make sure that you're not going to the parts that are, um, that are already sealed. So to seal it a little extra, I like to take the tip of a fork and just go around the edges. It makes for a pretty finish for one thing, okay? But it makes sure that it's really crimped closed nicely. It's going to make sure that you're not going to leak out anything. If this thing starts to leak, you got a real problem on your hands. Now, we're going to make multiple calzones here. So if you're making multiples and you don't, and they're all going to be about the same size, you want to remember which is which, okay? What you do is you save a little bit, like this, piece of pineapple. Now we're going to cut a little hole in the top to allow the steam to escape. If we don't do that, your calzone is going to blow up in the grill and it's going to make a serious mess. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to lay a little piece of pineapple on it so that we know which one is which, all right? Pretty simple, right? I think so too. Now, this is where our parchment paper comes in real handy again. You saw us last week, we used parchment paper on the pizza. Well, we could do the same thing with this, okay? Just lay it down, pick up your calzone, and set it right on here. You can shape, reshape it however you want. You can make it higher, taller, whatever you want, okay? But now we've got it on here, real nice. That's gonna go on the grill. Let's get our next calzone ready, okay? This one's just gonna be a plain cheese calzone, okay? So we cut that here like that. And again, the same thing. We lift it up, I want to show you from a different angle, and just run it over and seal it up. Same as the bigger one. This one's just a little smaller. It's like an individual size calzone, okay? You'll find when you're eating these things, say, oh, that thing is so small. Well, yeah, well, guess what? By the time that you're eating it and you're done and you've got cheese in you and dough and all of this other stuff that's in it, you wind up being really full a lot quicker than if you were eating just a piece of pizza. Again, take your fork, go right around the edge, crimp it closed. Don't break a hole in it, people. We don't want a hole in it. You're just trying to crimp it closed. That's all. What a messy work area, right? Well, you're working with flour. You're working with dough. You're allowed to do that. That's why I like doing this. It's the one time when I'm cooking, I'm allowed to be messy. All right? So here, that's crimped nice and closed. Again, we're going to make a little hole right on the top so that we allow the steam to escape as it's cooking. Again, a piece of parchment paper. As such, and of course, it doesn't want to come out. Okay, voila. Just lay this down here, take your calzone, lay it right on. Okay, that's number two. Now we got one more to go. Can you guess what the third one is going to be? Right, my favorite, pepperoni. I just love pepperoni. I love pepperoni pizza, I love pepperoni calzones. I just, I just love pepperoni, period. Okay, so now. I'm trying to show you different methods to do this. Now this one, again, same thing though, ricotta cheese, ricotta, as they say, okay? Now what I like to do here is put this 
the filling, whatever you're using, right in the middle. I like to put it right in the middle. Okay. Then we got our mozzarella. Put that right on top. Careful now. You don't want to get it where you're going to be folding the dough over because it'll prevent it from sealing up. So you want to be real careful with this. You could even squeeze it like that if you want to put it on top. It's all going to melt in the inside anyway. Okay. That's looking so nice. Okay. Now, same thing. I know I'm showing you from the wrong angle, but fold it over, crimp it closed, same as the others. And boom, what, 10 minutes, five, 10 minutes, we've got three beautiful calzones made. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take them. Let me finish crimping this one closed before we get ahead of ourselves. Worst thing I do is get ahead of myself and skip a step. All right, use our fork, make sure it's nice and crimped. We're not cutting a hole in it. Um, you just want to make sure you got the overlapped part of the dough. Crimp it, crimp it, crimp it. Tear our little hole. And wait, how are we going to know which one's which again? Oh, that's right. We're going to take a little piece of pepperoni, stick it right here. And when we're done, we're going to know exactly what we got there, okay? I think that we ran out of parchment paper. Let's see. I think we got just enough to do this one here, okay? So again, put our parchment paper down, got our calzone. Now there's one more step that's real important when we're doing this. Okay, let's tear this. We can cut, you can cut your paper really down to size. You don't need to work with such a big piece of paper. Now what we're going to do here is, remember that egg wash? You remember the egg wash. Take our egg wash and we're just going to give a little coating right over the top. Just paint it nice and clear. What it's going to do is going to make it give it a really beautiful, beautiful brown, uh, consistent, uh, not consistency, finish on the outside. It's just going to bake up really pretty. All right. If you're going to be cooking, going through all this process, might as well make it look pretty. So, cake it on here, all right, cover it up, there's two, and lastly, the big guy, all right. Now the beautiful part is that they're different sizes. This one's much larger than the other two, but they cook for about the same amount of time because it's the same products, you know, it's not a, it's, it's not a, it's not science here, it's, it's just a nice, easy, oh, that's going to be beautiful. Okay, so as far as egg setup, we didn't talk about that grill setup, whatever grill you're going to be using. Um, I've got this thing humming along right at 500 degrees. It doesn't have to be 700 degrees, whatever. I like to go 450 to 500 degrees when I'm cooking these. Um, I got my pizza stones in there. Let me show you how the setup goes and I'll show you how I put these right on the grill. Okay, follow me. All right, so this is how I set the egg up for these things. Um, I've got my expander system in the egg, which lifts up the grate a little higher in the dome. I have two pizza stones in here. Now this thing's been burning for about an hour and a half, so these pizza stones are really hot. So what I like to do now is take my calzones, you can see I have them on each on a little piece of parchment paper, and just lay them right on the stone. This is the beautiful part about working like this, okay? And now for the big guy, gets his own spot right up front, all right? The last thing, just for a little bit of extra flavor, just a grate of Parmesan on the top. Makes for a nice little finish on top. It looks pretty, it gets, give it a nice little texture when it's done. Okay, so we got some Parmesan, and what the heck, let's sprinkle a little bit of garlic powder on, because, you know, it's Italian food, so garlic just goes. All right, we're gonna let these cook for about five or 10 minutes. We're gonna check on them, they're gonna be nice and brown. We're gonna pull that parchment paper out, it's gonna be beautiful. Okay, so sometimes we have oopses, as you may have noticed in one of my other videos before. We had a little oops on this one. Our big calzone decided it was gonna burst open. So we've got a little problem. But the one thing you wanna do is set you're making sure that you're cooking them evenly. You wanna spin them and make sure that they're all getting um, cooked evenly, all right? So right now we can even slide the parchment paper out, let them cook right on the stone themselves. I'm gonna leave that one alone. <laughs> that one doesn't want to come off. I don't want that. There we go. Okay. We're going to leave that one just the way it is. It's a mess, but it's still cooking. So, hey, listen, I don't hide things. All right. Sometimes it works out great. Sometimes you have a little oopses. It happens to all of us. Okay. So I'm not embarrassed by it. It happens. The dough was, I stretched it a little bit too thin in one spot. I hit it when I was putting it on and it broke. So what? The other two are still going to be good. That one's still going to be good. It's still cooking. So, oh, well. Okay, so let's take our calzones off of, <laughs> off of the grill. This was, was not our night here, so this one looks good, okay? That's our cheese one. 
That looks good. Our pepperoni. Oops, sorry. That looks pretty good. This one is a disaster. It's just a complete disaster. But that's okay. There's still enough that we're going to eat it. Because it's still cooked and it's still going to be tasty. We shut our egg down. And here we go. Aren't they lovely? <laughs> well, listen, not every single thing we do is a total success, all right? Every once in a while we have a little mishap. These two came out beautiful. They're a little misshapen. You know what? I probably rushed a little bit more than I should have or um, whatever. But let's let these cool down for a couple minutes because they're just piping hot inside. So let's let them cool down. We'll come back. We'll cut into them. We'll enjoy some. I'm sure that they taste real good still. They may not look the greatest, but they're going to taste really good. So let's get them cooled down for a bit. Okay, so we're back to Calzone Bloopers 101. Uh, this baby here um, just decided to just burst open on us. This one got a little misshapen when I put it on there. And this one went wee, wee, wee. No, this one looks good, all right? So the funny part is, is they may not look great, but I can guarantee you they are going to taste excellent. Let's cut into one and see what we got here. This is the nice one. This is just cheese. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look how nice inside. Beautiful, airy. Got the nice mix of cheeses, got the dough mixture in there. That's looking good. Now our pepperoni, pepperoni. Okay. Beautiful, again, it should be a little puffier looking, all right? But, um, you know, one thing that happened that I know of here is that the, the egg mixture, I mixed a little bit too much water into the egg mixture. Um, this one, we don't really even need to cut to look and see what it looks like inside. Just look from the top and you can see what it looks like inside. It did burst open a little bit, but notice how effective our pineapple on top is. We still know which one this one is. <laughs> Gotta have a sense of humor, folks. So anyway, this one, it's still super edible. It's still gonna taste great. It just looks like, I won't say what it looks like, all right? But the bottoms are nice and brown, cooked beautifully on each and every one of them. They're beautifully done. Um, they're gonna be delicious. So I'll tell you what, I'm gonna take a piece of the ugly one and I'm gonna eat it. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, great. Sweet. The gut has got a nice flavor. It's really good. I mean, it, it looks like, you know what it looks like. You know what I wanna say. That's what it looks like, but it tastes really good. Have some fun with it. You know, this is a great example to show you. Not every cook goes the way we want it to. And we could have started over. We could have made a different video, but I want you to see that, hey, we're just like you. You know, it happens. It happens to all of us, especially when you're on camera. It seems to happen most like that. But listen, that's gonna be a really super tasty calzone. Again, our cheese one, our pepperoni. Hopefully you got some good tips. Next time I think I'm just gonna use straight egg. Uh, I think I'm not gonna mix any water into the egg wash and we'll try that. So listen, it's a learning experience for me. I learn every day. I don't make them every day. So like I said, it's been since high school since I made uh, calzones and that was a long, 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 long time ago. So um, I hope that you've enjoyed this. I hope that yours come out better looking than mine. Hope they come out equally as good tasting. Show me what you got. Tag me in your posts, Captain Ron 302 on Instagram. All right, tag me. I want to see what you've got going. If you make some calzones, you make some pizzas, anything that you see us make here, I'd love to see what you're doing with it, all right? So listen, do us a favor. Hit subscribe on the channel. Hit like on the video, please. And if you really want to do us a favor, leave us a comment. Tell us what you think, good, bad, and different. Tell me about your pizza or calzone mishaps. Tell me about a mishap you might have had cooking, period. I'd love to hear about them. So, Thanks you very much for tuning in this week. I really appreciate it. Thanks again to Fogo Charcoal for having me. And uh, I hope to see you all back here next week again.